السلام عليكم واهلا ومرحبا بكم في درس جديد. Peace and hello and welcome to a new lesson. And we're continuing with the top Arabic vocabulary course where I'm going to help you learn useful Arabic vocabulary within practical context. Uh, last lesson we done very um, useful uh, lesson actually it was about um, literally going to Subway and uh, choosing our own uh, breads, our own um, vegetables, our own meat and what we like to add to the sandwich. So that was a very uh, useful lesson and you can go back and I'll leave the links down below to watch those uh, lessons. Today, as I promised you last time, we're going to go to Costa Coffee. We're going to order coffee in Arabic. We're going to go over hot and cold drinks in Arabic together. And I'm going to take you as well to a Lebanese restaurant. Isn't that interesting? Because I'm from Lebanon, so that's going to be my favorite bit. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video, turn on your notification to get the next videos that are going to be in the queue, so make sure. Okay, so that's going to be the next part. Let's start with the drinks. Okay, al-mashrubat. Mashrubat is the plural of mashrub, a drink, and that's the passive participle from verb Shariba. So, al mashrubat sakhinatu wal barida. Hot drinks and cold drinks. Hot and cold drinks. Sakhin means hot, barid means cold. Obviously, over here, the adjective is uh, taking the round ta because it's feminine. Why? Because any non human plural, mashrubat, non human plural, is going to take a singular feminine adjective. Al mashrubat as sakhina. والباردة المشروبات الساخنة والباردة. Okay, مشروبات ساخنة. Hot drinks. Shai, obviously you might know that one. Uh, and obviously we have shai أحمر. Red tea. أخضر. Green tea. Uh, shai بالحليب. Tea with milk. So B means with. For example, أكتب بالقلم. I write with the pen. Shai bil halib, that means with milk, literally. Bin na'na, with mint. Na'na. Shai bil laymoon, with uh, literally lemon. Laymoon. <laughs> Sounds the same, isn't it? And English breakfast tea. So we know fatur in Arabic is breakfast. Shai al fatur, literally the breakfast tea. Al inglizi, the English breakfast tea, literally. Al Inglizi. <laughs> um, hot chocolate, that's really easy because we say chocolata in Arabic. So chocolata, sakhina, hot chocolate. Kahwa, coffee, that's my favorite. And I've actually got kahwa, sakhina, una. I've got my hot cup of coffee here. <laughs> Qahwa bil halib, tea with milk. And that's actually how I like my coffee. Ana uhibbu qahwa tea bil halib. I like my coffee with milk. Kayfa tuhibbuna qahwatakum? How do you like your coffee? Bil halib aw biduni halib or without bidun. So qahwa bidun, biduni halib without milk. Or you can also use the word bila. Bila. That means as well without. Bila. That means with. No, literally. <laughs> so bidun aw bila. Two ways of saying it. Ma means with. Ma. Qahwa ma sukkar. With sugar. Or qahwa bis sukkar as well. So different ways of saying the same thing. Basically just giving you another word. Or another way. Tariqa ukhra. Qahwa bidun. Sukkar, biduni sukkar, or bila sukkar, without sugar. And that's how I actually have my coffee as well. Bil halib, walakin biduni sukkar. So, mashrubat sakhina, you can see over here, shay al fatur al inglizi, shay al akhdar, chocolate sakhina, shay bil halib, shay bil laymoon, or shay bil nana. Mashrubat barida, 
Ah, this is really excellent for summertime. Mumtaza li fasl al-sayf. Asir, juice. Asir, with the sa. Asir, not asir. Asir actually means difficult. Asir is juice with the sad. So just be mindful of your emphatic sounds in Arabic. Asir burtuqal. Orange juice. Burtuqal. Orange. Asir tufah. Apple juice and so on. So you can just add, change that basically according to the fruit. Thalj in Arabic means ice or could also mean snow. Thalj. <laughs> When I say thalaja, that means literally my fridge. Thalaja. Laymunada. You've guessed that. Lemonade with the da. Laymunada. Da. Mashrubat muthalaja. That means frozen. Muthalaja. Let's break it down. Muthalaja. جا مشروبات مثلجة شاي مثلج ايس تي مثلج او فروزن ليترلي مرطبات ريفرشمنتس مرطب مين سمثينغ ليترلي وي كان اولسو يوز مرطب فور مويشرايزر فور اكزامبل اف اي بوت مويشرايزر او لوشن اون ماي فيس ذاتس مرطب مرطبات Things that literally moisturize you or refresh you. Murattibat. Refreshments. Mashrubat ghaziya. So ghaz in Arabic is literally gas. Ghaz. So that means fizzy or bubbly drinks. Mashrubat ghaziya. That means gazi, yes. So the ya over here means yes. That's a suffix actually. So for example, ana lubnaniya. That means I'm Lebanese. The suffix e, so raziya. Murattibat, hasir, laymunada, mashrubat raziya, thalj, mashrubat muthalaja. Okay, so when you walk in a um, coffee shop, ayya khidma, can I help you? Uridu kuban min al qahwa, law samahti, addressing a male, law samahti, obviously addressing a female. Or you can sim simply say, uridu qahwa, I'd like coffee. Uridu shay. And so on. Obviously, in spoken Arabic, we drop the case endings. Uh, we don't say uridu shayyan, uridu qahwatan, uridu qahwa, uridu shay, or urid even. We don't really, we don't really emph emphasize the case endings. So, as a, an Arabic learner, don't really panic and stress over them because it's not even natural for us to use case endings when we're conversing, unless we're reading. Uh, like a religious text or we're reading a um, school text or so on. So obviously you're going to use shukran. The person might say afwan and so on. Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. If they're giving you something, they're going to say tafaddal or tafaddali, addressing a female. Please have or please take. al maqha means the coffee shop, al maqha Okay, so kayfa tuhibbu qahwataka? Or kayfa tuhibbu qahwatak? How do you like your coffee? كيف تحبين قهوتك؟ Your coffee, addressing a female. بالحليب, as we mentioned earlier, أو بدون حليب أو بلا حليب. مع سكر, بالسكر, بدون سكر, without, بلا سكر. And we have the word سادة. سادة, that means literally plain, without sugar, سادة. قشدة is cream. بالقشدة, and to be honest, we use the word كريمة. كريمة with the Round ta, or sometimes with the elif, sometimes you'll find it written like that as well. So crema that means uh, cream, literally. Al qishta. And we can say, Hal عندك? Do you have? Hal عندك قهوة بالحليب? Hal عندك cappuccino? Hal عندك espresso? Hal <laughs> عندك قهوة بدون كافيين? بدون كافيين? Without caffeine, literally. Or خالية من الكافيين as well. That means خالية means literally empty of. خالية من الكافيين. هل تحب القهوة بالحليب? Do you like coffee with milk if you're asking your guest? هل تحبين القهوة بالحليب? نعم أنا أحب القهوة بالحليب. لا أنا لا أحب القهوة بالحليب. أنا أحب القهوة سادة. Plain. Okay, not yet. No, 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 don't go. We're going to the next <laughs> bit. Okay, so. 
we've mentioned um, hot drinks and mashrubat as sakhina and we've mentioned, uh, let's say here we're in Costa, coffee. Costa. So we can ask for shay al fatur al injlizi. We can ask for that one. We can ask for shay akhdar, chocolate sakhina, shay bil halib aw latte, latte. Yeah, we use, sometimes we write the English words with Arabic letters. We can ask for shay bin na'na. Okay, we can also ask for a shay wal laymoon al muthallaj. That means frozen, uh, literally frozen or iced tea and ice lemon, lemonade. Shay muthallaj bil khawkh with plum. So iced tea with plum. Laymunada muthallaja bil khawkh. That's ice uh, lemonade uh, with plum. Uh, laymoon, laymunada, lemonade, laymunada muthallaja, frozen or ice lem lemon, literally lemonade. And halwa, dessert over here, muajjanat, pastries, muajjanat, ajin, literally means the, ajin is the, uh, what do we call it, when you're baking something and you make the dough, that's ajin, ajin. Shai muthallaj bil laymoon, iced tea with lemon. So here is a sample of custard's cold menu. And obviously, if you want to ask for cappuccino, espresso, we, we do use those terms as well. Matam Lubnani, ahlan wa sahlan bikum fi al matam al Lubnani. Hello and welcome to the Lebanese restaurant. So we've mentioned in previous lessons, muqabbilat. Muqabbilat is appetizers. Muqabbilat sakhina, hot appetizers. Shorba, that literally means soup. Shorba, shorba tul futr. So mushroom soup, shorba tul dajaj, chicken soup. Shorbat al adas, lentil soup. Now, makulat, akil means food from verb akala. Makulat literally means dishes. Bahriya, you might know bahr is a sea. So, bahriya literally seafood. Seafood, uh, literally seafood soup. Shorbatu makulatin bahriya. Seafood soup, that looks delicious. Tabdu ladi latan. Al muqabilatu al barida. Cold appetizers. So another word for shorba, by the way, was hasa. Hasa. So you might come across that one. Hummus bit tahina. Hummus, obviously, hummus. The tahina is tahini. It's made from sesame. It's uh, like a thick paste made from sesame and oil. Hummus bit tahina. Hummus with tahini, literally. Mutabbal badinjan, or what you call baba ghanouj. And that's literally made from eggplant, badinjan. Uh, and uh, we put garlic, we put olive oil in that, we put lemon. It's really yummy and tasty. And um, uh, obviously when we, uh, we add tahina, that's when we call it mutabbal. And if there's uh, no tahina, you call it baba ghanouj. So that depends. Fattoush is a very famous uh, salad in Lebanon, fattoush. And it's made like from various vegetables like cucumber, like radish, like, and so on. So we can say salata. Khadra, a green salad. And we add also the, the uh, toasted uh, bread, al khubzul muhammas. Hada huwa al khubzul muhammas. Zaytun, tabbula. You might know tabbuli in English, tabbula. And we add al burghul, or the bulgur wheat, on top as well. Uh, and it's made from parsley, al baqdunis, al mafroom, chopped parsley. Mukhallal, and we mentioned that in the previous lesson, pickles. Salata khadra, a green salad. Salata yunaniya, Greek. Green khadra, Greek. From al Yunan is Greece, literally in Arabic. So yunaniya, Greek salad. Ma'al jubnat al bayda with the white cheese. Waraq anab. Waraq anab is literally vine leaves. Waraq is paper, literally, or leaves. Tree leaves. Waraq al shajar, or awraq al shajar. Zabadi. Zabadi is uh, literally yogurt. Zabadi. Dajajun mashwi. Mashwi is grilled. That's the main meal. So, al wajabatu raisiya. Rais means may, uh, main. Dajajun mashwi. Grilled. Mashwiyat mushakkala. Mixed grill. Mushakkala that means a selection or mixed. Lahmu da'an. Da'an, that means lamb chops. Aruz bishu'ayriya. That means literally, the, that's a famous rice that we do in the Middle East with the, uh, literally the vermicelli. Bishu'ayriya. 
Samakun mashwi, grilled fish, yummy. You're going to be hungry after this lesson. Samakun makli. Makli is literally fried. Sardine on makli. Fried sardines. So sardine for sardines. Musaka. Musaka is a famous dish in the Middle East and it's made literally of vegetables like uh, al-badanjan, like um, eggplant, like tomato, al-tamaltim. Uh, sometimes we add chickpeas, hummus, it depends. So different, uh, it's close to ratatouille in Europe, close to, kind of. So that was uh, basically, I'm just going to pose the, um, let me just stop the sharing for a second. Oh, pause the share. Okay, so that was um, basically our lesson for today. It was just basically putting everything that we've learned so far in a practical context, plus learning how to say uh, grilled, how to say fried, different food items that you will come across in an actual menu, whether in Costa or a Lebanese restaurant. As I've uh, mentioned in the previous lesson, if you'd like to practice, what you could do is write on a piece of paper the words in Arabic with the vowels, then without the vowels and the English translation. You can fold the paper into three parts and try to learn reading them without the vowels. And just one second, I'm going to get to my word search book. Word search book, where are you? It was somewhere here. Okay, so a great companion. Hold on, I'm just going to look for it and I'll be back in a second. I found it. So that's the book, the Arabic vocabulary word search book. Very useful uh, book. So what you will find uh, is a word search puzzle and you'll find 50 topics inside. For example, here, close. You'll find the words with the vowels in uh, one column and then an empty column for you to write. And you can choose to write without the vowels, for example, and then you can fold the paper and try to read without the vowels. And um, obviously the English side with the translation and it has uh, 50 topics. So for example, you've got colors, shapes, you've got days of the week, you've got fruit, vegetables, legumes and grains, you've got meats, uh, play, common places, you've got parts of the day, professions, clothes, um, accessories, furniture, uh, rooms of the house, um, domestic animals, wild animals, water animals, transport, toys, um, desserts and sweets, verbs, verbs part two, hobbies, hobbies part two, travel, shopping, um, health and medicine, health and medicine part two, nature, Arabic countries, more countries, places, food, kitchen utensils, um, herbs, Spices, cooking verbs, cooking verbs, part two, space vocabulary, space part two, planets, um, stationary items um, at school, um, in the office, in the office part two, scholar subjects, um, the weather, the weather part two, and you've got prayer and reading material like magazine, novel, and so on. So that's very useful. It's not just another random, what I've seen online, to be honest, like on Amazon, is you could find some very random uh, word search that um, put together, they don't really make sense. And as a learner, that's, that's probably more for advanced um, learners or for natives. But this is quite useful for you. And honestly, I'm not making um, much uh, profit is the minimum, mostly it's taken by Amazon for printing. The book and that took me a long time to make and my other favorite book is actually i've taught my uh, little one how to read and write using that one tamarin ul kitaba so for example is what you will find is uhallil, i analyze so you're literally breaking down each word into the separate letters if you can see over here and then after uhallil, you have the other part, which is urakib, that means I put together. So she's literally now over here putting together the words. 
So you can see she's putting together the words. And then there's also a short um, story where she also has to choose, for example, for the letter ba. Okay, and you also have the answers, and that goes for um, that goes for every um, letter or set of letters. Very, very useful um, book, and with lots of vocabulary inside. Basically, um, very common vocabulary that you need to know. For example, over here, places, shapes, um, and you also have the answers and the pronunciation in English. So that's like literally almost 300 uh, pages and that's a big size. So that's um, very helpful for beginners and for children. And you're gonna find the link down below. And um, that was our very short lesson for today. Don't forget to subscribe and to like the video. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I think my coffee is getting cold. Baradat al qahwa. So ألقاكم في الفيديو القادم إن شاء الله وفي رعاية الله وحفظه مع السلامة وشكرا لكم Thank you for all your lovely and kind comments مع السلامة